If I'm interested in rationality and belief, desire and action, and I'd like a general comprehensive theory of rationality, so my book's project presents um, a part of a general theory of rationality. It treats um, not only rational choice, but efficiency in rational choice. So a rational agent picks a rational option, but also does it efficiently. So my book's project is to formulate methods of evaluating the options in a decision problem that use only relevant considerations. So I had to identify the considerations relevant to the evaluation of an option, and I concluded that these are realizations of basic goals. A secondary objective was justifying common methods of simplifying choices, such as focusing on the future. And to do this, I had to show that focusing on the future yields the same decisions as considering the past along with the future. And also, I had to formulate a, a type of value and a way of dividing an option's outcome into parts so that the value of the whole outcome is the sum of the value of its parts. So I had to show that in some cases, um, the value of a whole is equal to the sum of the value of its parts. So I think the best general method for making choices efficiently evaluates options by considering their consequences for realization of basic goals. And these consequences are events that would occur if an option were adopted, but can be prevented by adopting some other option. There are events that occur in the future and also in a space-time region that the option can influence. In special cases, it's possible to make decisions even more efficiently. In some special cases, the options in a decision problem share consequences, and you can compare the two options, ignoring the consequences that they share. And doing that yields a choice more efficiently than does evaluating each option one by one and then ranking the options according to their evaluations. When people decide rationally and efficiently, they focus on an option's consequences for realization of basic goals like health and education. And rationality um, requires some basic goals. It requires, for instance, the basic goal of realizing future basic goals. But it also gives an agent lots of latitude in adopting basic goals. So people without prompting form the basic goal of being healthy. And um, that's perfectly permissible by all standards of rationality. So when people are using the freedom rationality gives them to pick choices, they're influenced, I think, by factors such as their upbringing, their culture, their life experiences. So a child who attends a concert might, as a result, form the goal of, be, of learning how to play the piano because she admires the pianist's skill. To um, formulate principles of efficiency for decision making, um, after formulating them, you get an important component of a general theory of rationality. Also, the, the theory of rationality I'd like is as powerful as possible, has norms or requirements on choices as powerful as they can be made. And the, to do that, I use psychological features of an agent besides the agent's preferences. I use, for instance, degrees of belief and degrees of desire. And using these additional psychological features provides a way of explaining an agent's preferences and in some cases provide uh, a requirement that the agent's preferences be formed a certain way.